Welcome back guys. Let's discuss question number 21 to 30 of session 1 of INSET November 2022. So uh, question number 21 is which test will you combine with OEE that is auto acoustic emissions when OEE is absent. So this basically in these conditions when we are checking for childhood deafness. Uh, first we do a OAE, OAE and if OAE is absent or negative then in that case we do Bera plus tympanometry. But I think Bera was not given in the option, but tympanometry was then the option, so that will be the answer. Tympanometry will be the answer. Now, another question of dermatomyositis. Sorry, dermatomyositis. Uh, dermatomyositis was given, uh, was there a history related to dermatomyositis, and, and this image was probably given. So, the answer for this will be Gotten's. This is Gotten's papule. This is a repeated question they keep on asking about dermatomyositis, so it's a very important topic even for neat PG. Um, question number 23 um, I think this image of crumpled tissue paper appearance was given so this is a classical image of Gaucher's disease Gaucher's disease would have been in the option and that would be the answer uh, this is also a repeat question common sequel of eye in a COVID patient is the most common sequel that we have is follicular conjunctivitis it is a repeated question this will be the answer and I think there, there, there was an image of hypopion which was given so if this image was given the answer will be hypopion <coughs> question number 26 Absent graft versus host reaction if it is absent after transfusion, it is due to the deficiency of what uh, options were like BCL, CD4, T cells, decreased MSC1, decreased MSC2. So the answer to this will be decreased MSC1. MSC1 is responsible for the graft versus host reaction, and if that is not occurring, that's because of MSC1. Um, 27. I think uh, needle question was there the bone marrow uh, puncture needles that like like sala needle, femurs needle, and Japshadi needle. I think images were given. So, <clears throat> I think um, this image was given. If this image is given, then it is Lehmann's needle. And if this one, if basically Sala, as for Sala, as for screw, if screw is given, that means it is Sala's needle. But I think Lehmann's needle was the uh, uh, question. Question number 28, I think there was a question regarding pharyngeal arches and the arteries. I think uh, they had asked which one of it is not the correct one. So, I have mentioned all the arch and their arteries. Uh, so from that you come come to your answer. First arch, the art, uh, artery of the first arch is maxillary artery. Second arch it is tapedial artery. Third arch is common cavity artery, external cavity artery, internal cavity artery. Fourth arch it is right subclavian artery and arch of aorta. And sixth arch it is pulmonary artery and ductus arteriosus. In sixth arch it is pulmonary artery and ductus arteriosus. Okay. Now question number twenty nine, which is not a cardiac toxin. Atropa valadana, cerebral thevesia, aconite nicotinian tobacum. So, this is a toxin, cardiac toxin, aconite also. Cerebral thevesia is all under that is also the thing. So, the answer will be atropa valadana. Okay. Uh, which of the following are pro oncogenes of virus? Um, which will be the pro oncogenes of virus? I think for this also there was an image given, but um, uh, and they had asked which of the pro oncogenes. Uh, oncogenes, pro oncogenes will be E6 and E7. As you know, in human papilloma virus, these are involved for uh, oncogenesis. So E6 and E7 will be the answer. So, so these were the 21 to 30 uh, number questions. Uh, guys, if you are appreciating my efforts to bring all these questions to you, um, do share it with as much as many people as you can and like and share and like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.